Hey, Shalom, Makim, Shalom, uh, first thing and foremost, I'm going to give all praises and glory and honor that's due to Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim, Rakak Wadash. Um, I'd like to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Peace and blessings and salutations to the whole elect. It was in the gospel broad, lifting up the standard of Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, wherever it may be. Um, this is just a quick lesson through the spirit. Uh, Lord, what it be edifying. Uh, this is from the brother. I have two videos I wanted to show. Um, it says, y'all may want to check this out, confirming this. Going to be a hot summer, okay? As we know, this is the year of the poly crisis, which poly goes into multiple. Um, that was actually specified by the guy, Cotton Swab himself, that 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 demon, okay? That, that, that degenerate of a puppet of the Rothschilds, Claus Cotton Swab, that guy, um, doing the uh, summit in Switzerland earlier this year, Davos. Um, they was basically going into how you're going to have these different accounts of these crises, starting from banking crisis to grid failures to blackouts to, you know, new pestilence. I'll say it that way. And just all around just chaos. OK, which is going to be here in America very, very soon. And it's already a count that these things are happening. But some of these things, they're not really uh, displaying on the mainstream news. They're not really speaking about it because, you know, you have media blackouts on things that seems to be uh, of, of concerning to the people. So they pick and choose on whether or what information they want to put out there among the public. So um, I got another video as well, but I want to play, it says here, darkness is coming uh, and a warning is out. Now um, it says in the next two weeks, we have been warned we are going to be in darkness, Julius uh, Malema. Now, I don't know about the next two weeks. I can't say that. But nonetheless, this is just some information. As I mentioned in the last video, you know, when you put things out there, make sure they solidify because when we put out these deadlines or when these forecasters put out the deadlines, oftentimes the elites, they may have intention on doing that, but they may change it because they don't want the people to catch on to it. So instead of two weeks, it may be a week. Instead of one week, it may be a month or they may try to delay it. But we do know that the Lord is not going to delay his coming and that Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is putting the spirit on these devils to make their moves now. So through the spirit, let's see what happens. So let's go ahead. We are heading to darkness and ANC politicians are continuing business as usual. As if we are not in a crisis. We are in a deep, deep, deep crisis. Cell phone networks will not work. Water, if, even if we have it, we won't receive it because it needs electricity. Nothing is going to function. We are heading for a disaster worse than what COVID was. No one will go to work. The dead will have to be buried the same day because there will not be fridges to keep them. No generator is meant to operate 24 hours. Generator is an intervention for a short while. Even those who have generators will not be saved from the mess we are going into. We want you. We went to the streets because we knew this was coming. History will absolve us. We were called names. We were ridiculed were insulted police and the army were called on us for trying to protect us from where we are they are just calling calling it stage 10 for 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 nice weight the reality is that it's darkness and it's not going to be darkness of uh, 12 hours or 24 hours it comes back no at times it's going to take three to four days at times it will take a week. At times it will take a month without electricity. The whole leadership must, call, must go. We cannot uh, fall back and do nothing. And you. Yeah, so with that being said, uh, <clears throat> darkness, not only darkness, but chaos, man. Okay, this is why um, through the spirit, it's probably, it's very possible that that's the reason why you're seeing these troops where there's a lot of military action being deployed into the into these inner cities, man, according to the sources that's put out there. Certain people say it's all just a drill. 
Don't worry about anything. But okay, they tell you if it's a drill, then it, okay, if they're drilling, then that means they're preparing for something. So either way it goes, they're not imminent on what they're getting ready to do. The fact that they are doing drills, that should that that should let you know right there. Like, look, man, something's getting ready to go down. Okay, and they cut the power, then that's all murder she wrote because that's that that's a whole nother problem right there. Outside of the chaos and the tension among the governments and the people, you know, and the people just behaving like a bunch of granimals, you're going to have the spirit world that's going to become activated. Because what they say is, you know, in, in the spiritual world, man, you know, they say, and this is just from like folk four and all this other shit. They say in every dark corner that lurks something that you probably don't want to get a whiff of, man. Okay, because the spirit world is vast. It's all around us, okay? You have the fourth dimension, the third heaven, which is the spirit world, which is in the heavens. But then the the, the, the spirit world is all around us too, man, because there's levels to it. Okay, you got the heavens where the most high dwells at. But even around this third dimension, this current abode, you got the spirit world all around us. Okay, and what proves that if you saw that show Stranger Things, they went into what they call the upside down, which is basically a parallel dimension to the earth's around. Okay, and they show you in a roundabout way in all these movies they deal with these metaverses or, or uh, parallel universes which the whole theory of a multiverse is, is really off as hell because they try to make it seem like it's a billion copies of you. that's bullshit that's a cool concept if you didn't believe in the most high but that's folly the lord never specified that that was going to be a carbon copy of you outside of your seeds now they want to go into you know you procreate and putting your children there and around the galaxy then that's a different story you know and you living in a different alternate reality that's folly but nonetheless you do have what they would consider parallel universes or different dimensions and stuff like that which is other planets man okay you got a lot of earth-like planets that esau has discovered you see what i'm saying so it makes sense that the spirit world is all around us even in um what you call, uh, what's the name of that game? It's called uh, Devil May Cry. When basically uh, everything that took place in the fourth dimension, you've seen it playing out in the third dimension. You see? But anyway, let's play this video. Then we're going to get a couple of precepts and now we're going to end it. This was the message given to me, which I have been given permission to give to you guys. Um, now, say anything else. This was, the, this was the message given to me, which I have been given permission to give to you guys. Um, now, since this has occurred, I, this has been triple, triple plus confirmed to me by other sources as well. But the first source came from this person who received emails from internal department heads, I believe, within government, I guess you could say. And this is the message. There are currently 250, roughly, I believe is the number, cities in the world, including America, of course, were being held ransom in cyber attack fashion right now one just happened and they've been talking about cyber attacks on these government institutions and you know these these particular business ventures and people's accounts and a lot of people are getting their accounts hacked and bank accounts hacked and all this other stuff and the first thing they go oh, it's russia it's russia it's russia they always screaming what's russia and what's this and every time they scream that shit you better believe that Esau is behind it because the Russians are Edomites too. But you better believe that this American Edomite or their Western counterparts are behind that shit. You know, they ain't going to get enough of blaming stuff on other people because right now all your chickens are getting ready to come home to roost. People are, are going to expose you for what you really are. You see, so you're trying to blame people on attacking your infrastructure so you could be justified or getting the world to rise up against people. The world is going to rise up against you and they're rising up against you, man. OK, you you American Edomites, man. I won't even say you elites. I'll put it to you that way. You small hats. You're the real you're the real problem. And it trickles on down to the common jarhead Edomite, which all of you are a problem. But see, the, the, the main offense is at the top. OK, we're not worried about this guy in the video. Six pack Joe, you know, what I'm saying Bud like Joe, he eat his hot dogs and watch fucking MLB 
on hot Saturday afternoons at 2 o'clock with a beer belly. We ain't worried about them devils, man. They going to take themselves out. It's the elites that's causing a problem, man. All the way down to your government officials, to your senators, to your state legislators. Those people are the problems. And even the state legislators are being uh, coerced by the elite bankers. So it starts at the top. Like they said, the problem is always at the top somewhere. Okay. So um, anyway, let's go. A couple days ago, they cleaned it up. But right now, globally, um, I'm, I'm told imminently. Now, when I say imminently, I don't have an exact number for you. But it could be five minutes from now. It could be 48 hours from now. It could be a week or two weeks from now. It's Hope not going to be today. like six months from now. That's what, it, that's what I was told. Like imminent. Um, also, that something like this could pop off on a weekend because they know that people aren't technically prepared. Um, now, keep in mind the 21st next week, summer solstice. Um, Let's go here real quick. Let's F and I'm come back to that. And this is why we got to be on point, brothers. We got to be on point. Got to be on point, man. You got to watch these things. Uh, this is First Thessalonians 5 and 1. It says, But of the times and the seasons, brethren, you have no need that I write unto you. For yourselves perfectly know that the day of the Lord, Yahweh Shai, so cometh as a thief in the night, okay? And we already know what a thief is, okay? A smart thief will come when nobody's at home or he will come when everybody's asleep, okay? Now, if you just bold, you're going to kick the door in. The Lord is going to come as a thief. He's going to come as a thief and kick the door in because for the simple fact, they're not expecting him. And this is really to you Israelites, okay? Because you Edomites, no matter if you are watching for the return of Yahweh Shai, if you of the nation of Edom, you don't, you're not going to be granted that mercy. So you can be watching for the second coming all you want. It's not going to marry you any benefit. But this is really talking about Israelites, man. Okay, and like I mentioned in the last video, Jake is all on folly. Jake is on, on, on left-hand shit. You know what I'm saying? Jake is still uh, camping out to, 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 to get the PS5 and all this. You know, just folly. Jake is camping out for Travis Scott concerts and going to these venues and acting like ain't nothing is happening. You know, you got Jake that sit back and just... Some Jake's just watch fucking ESPN all day, man. And play 2K all day while the world is going to shit. Is there anything wrong with playing 2K? No, I play 2K. But when that's all you think about, like, you got some Jake's, the only thing they know is sports, bro. Like, I went, when I was in high school, you know, it was, I got Jake's that can literally talk about, about sports from 8 in the morning to 2.45 p.m., bro. All they talk about is sports. Like, I mean, it's cool, but it's like at the same time, I can't. I can't give you an eight hour conversation on sports. I just can't do it. I can barely talk to you for an hour about it. You know what I'm saying? I may be able to give you a few pointers here and there, you know, because I do watch it, but I, I just don't circumvent my time watching something unless it's very important. Okay? It just unless it's like a main event. You see, but Jake, man, they they gonna get caught out there. It says for yourselves know perfectly that the day of your have a shot coming as a thief in the night. So it says, for when they should say peace and safety. Then sudden destruction coming upon them as travail upon a woman with child, and they should not escape, okay? They should not escape, okay? So when all hell break loose, all the TikTok shit, you TikTok sensations, you jakes that's out there, you playing fake woke, because it's a thing about being woke, but not of the Holy Spirit. Like, you can be woke, but the Holy Spirit is just not dealing with you, okay? And what we got now is a bunch of woke, spiritless jakes, okay, that claim that they are on some type of level galactically but at the same time they don't even know the name of the father they don't believe that they're israelites they're not teaching the people that they're the israelites okay they're just promoting their own wickedness to get a following on social media and i'm seeing it a lot with these tiktok sensations every nigga want to be a prophet now every fucking edomite woman want to be a female prophetess like just sit down and shut up somewhere man because when esau put that pressure on you and you get that judgment or you get that, that 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 pressure put on you that a prophet got to go through, then a lot of you going to change your stances real quick, man. When they come with that uh that guillotine. Oh, yeah, you said this about what the NWO? Go ahead and put your head in this thing. You're going to change your disposition very fast because you ain't going to have the faith to go through what you're getting ready to go through. Okay? But it says peace and safety, then sudden destruction coming upon them as travail upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape. But ye brethren, be as not in darkness, that that day shall overtake you as a thief, okay? 
So, hey, we got to pay attention to what's happening. Look at these signs. Yeah, these videos are good. Certain people write them off like, yeah, you know, like in the last video, I did make mention that you got to be careful on the information you're putting out there because just because you see something that says, oh, well, aliens popped up in the backyard. You can't just go off the rip and say, oh, that's what happened. You have to really have discernment through the spirit to know if that's what's going on. And certain shit, you just got to you just got to extrapolate through the spirit, man. You know, don't be just putting a thousand posts up because you want people to look at you as some great erotic prophet. Oh, well, this brother is doing the work. Oh, he got a thousand posts of going into martial law. No, that's not how it works, man. All right. Be wise on what you do. But nonetheless, good content is good content. We're not going to argue with that. You know, like this video is good because for the simple fact it's several resources reporting on that. And we've been speaking about blackouts. Even Swab himself came out and mentioned cyber attacks, man. So this is relevant information. Now, pertaining on when they're going to do it, we don't know. Okay, honestly, I hope they cut the fucking power today. Shit, let's get it started already. But, you know, hey, in a perfect world, maybe. But regardless of that, you know, we got to watch. That's why the Lord said, therefore, watch and pray. Okay? So. We are talking uh, cyber attacks across cities that would potentially shut cities down. An attack potentially on the infrastructure of America slash and the financial system. Um, it could lead into a lockdown situation, uh, which could also lead to a soft martial law. Um, and this was not like a, they didn't say, hey, this could happen. This is what I think. This is not a prediction. I'm told this is what's going to happen. I'm also told to make sure your family is protected. Now, a lot of you I know are going to answer, put in the comments, you know, what does this mean? Give me details. What do you mean protected? I, this is all I can give you. This is what I was given. So what is that? Have phones ready, have food ready. All the stuff we've talked about for the last couple of years. Um, what was also said was everything that you've been hearing about and planning for for the last couple of years that we knew or thought was going to come to fruition this is it. This is not a joke. He also said this is not a test. This is real. Um, and I'm not saying that. To, I'm not. I don't want to stoke fear. I'm not trying to get clickbait. I'm not trying. I received the call. I immediately talked to my people around me. I immediately, I immediately called my wife. Called friends. I called Scott McKay. Calling other friends. And letting them know what is happening. Um, this could look like a war on our infrastructure. They will hold our cities, again, ransom. Do not be surprised, and I don't know how this would occur, or if it will occur. I don't know the intensity of this. You might have problems with money. You might have problems with paying for stuff. You might have, you might have full-on lockdowns. And, and it all makes sense, brothers, because... For the simple fact they come in with this reset. Dude said clearly the great reset. He kept saying that the great reset. We gotta reset everything. How are they gonna do it? What kind of st what kind of uh, attacks or what kind of activities are gonna transpire for them to be justified, quote unquote, to uh reset the economy. Okay, they're gonna have to do some things, man, because they're gonna have to panic the people into accepting the madness they're coming with. They have to panic. They got to put people in a state of despair, a state of panic. That's what they have to do in order to get people to, 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 to kind of bow down to it. Because if you tell people like, well, look, we coming in, we want to tax you, we want to take away your freedoms and we want to, we want to control you, get under our, our jurisdiction, people are going to fight back off that. So they have to scare the people into subjection. This is a a proven working formula that worked. Esau's used this time. Esau's used this strategy time and time again. From the time of the Greeks to the Romans, even to the time of the Babylonians when Esau was uh, 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 charading around to, to help get Jake hemmed up. Certain things took place in history to pan the, to pan the blame on Israelites, man. Okay, so don't be surprised even of, of these attacks. Some way, some form, they may try to blame it on these so-called extremist groups. Okay. Blackouts in your neighborhoods and cities. I don't know. Um, 
and that, it's, I wish I could give you more details of it, but this is the general what's happening. Um, as I get more information, I'll let you know. Um, and by the way, again, I was told this early, within an hour or so after I was told this personally, I had it confirmed by another source outside of that, who again, I'm not gonna say. And then there are other sources online that within the last hour, so this has all happened over the last few hours, uh, other sources online who have also indicated that absolutely we are going to be under a major cyber attack whether planned or not, I don't know. Um, but Americans, he said, if you're ready for this, um, it'll look crazy. He said the normies who have no idea what's going on right now will have no idea what to do. So if you see panic, if you see craziness, if you see chaos, just be... Um, just be someone who can, you know, uh, act normal or, or uh, bring sanity to situations. So again, I might be forgetting some stuff that he told me, um, but that works for now. I'll do my best if I get more information to let you know. If I can think of anything else he told me that I'm forgetting right now, I'll of course let you know. Um, and we'll go from there. So do me a favor, stay protected. Um, this is going to get rough most likely again it could be as you're watching this video it could be a couple weeks from now it's happening though it's not something that's being pushed off in the distance it's occurring and again summer solstice next week remember it'll be a hot summer hot summer remember the whole time cold winter so hey Let's see what happens, man. Hey, the scriptures say wisdom and knowledge should be the stability of thy times. Let's get that. All right, because um, like I said earlier, they can. They're gonna scare the people into accepting this thing. Okay, it's all about scare tactics, man. Same thing with the whole ordeal of twenty twenty. It was all about scare tactics, man. To the point that people weren't baiting enough. They weren't going for the okie doke. To the point they actually started putting poisons on people. Okay, they started, you know, spraying the shit in the air and the food. And, of course, we know the main source of the uh, the three-pointer. You know that for a fact. But they're going to really turn this shit up, man. And it's going to be chaotic on the streets of Babylon. And I believe wholeheartedly that that's the reason why you send all these military drills. I mean, that's just my opinion. But it makes sense to me. Isaiah 33 and 6, it says, Wisdom and knowledge should be the stability of thy times and the strength of thy salvation. The fear of the Lord is his treasure. So, bro, we have to be in a very uh, uh, sound mind in Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, and fearing the Lord and walking very, very carefully, paying attention to your surroundings, and watching the news, you know, reporting on these things, being circumspect, not surfeiting, okay? You don't want to be in that surfeiting type spirit. I always want to party, party, party. You want to go out, you want to go to clubs every week and concerts every other weekend. You don't want to do that, okay? Best thing to do is to really just limit your, your places, narrow it down to a handful of places you may go and hang out at and, and keep it pushing. You know, also, not going out by yourselves if you can help it. Now, I know certain brothers like to travel solo, dolo, and that's their prerogative. There's no sin against it, but the scriptures say two is better than one. All right, so if you feel like you're going into a territory you're not familiar with, hit a brother up, see if he can come with you, man. You know, if he can't, then you may just have to find alternative means or postpone it. Okay, it's all through the spirit. But uh, this is the book of uh, 2nd Edges 16 and 17. It says, woe is me, woe is me, who would deliver me in those days? Okay, woe is me, woe is destruction. It says the beginning of sorrows and great mornings and the beginning of famine and great death. It says great death. You see, great death means exactly what it sounds like, great death. Because the scriptures say that the dead should be cast out as dung and there should be no man left to bury the dead. Verse 23 goes into it. So being understanding that <laughs> every other person you see is going to, I'll put it to you like this. The two thirds of our people, two out of every three Jakes are going to die. Okay, so I'm, I, you can safely say that everybody around you, they're going to die. Okay, they're going to die. I can just straight up tell you now, everybody in this building that I live in, they're all going to be destroyed. Every last one of them. 
I have no if and I have no question about that. Now the thing is, get my ass out of this out of this hell and the Lord have mercy on my ass, because I'm not trying to be other casualties, okay? Doing whatever I have to do in order to to, to get and obtain my crown. Because that's what it's about at the end of the day. But these people are going to be destroyed, okay? Family members, hey, forget about it. A lot of you people, when I'll help, like, hey, you brothers, man, hey, a lot of, look, like I say, man, you know, say your pieces with your families, man, because it's going to come a time you're just not going to hear from them. Okay, you might not get record that they're dying because communications are going to be brought down. You know, the, the grid is going to be shut down, but you already know through the spirit they're going to die. Okay, you know what I'm saying? You ain't got to get a phone call from Aunt Lucy to say, well, yeah, you know, your brother passed away during the time of martial law. You just kind of know that the nigga was wicked. He wasn't right. Hey, I'm pretty sure he didn't call a bullet to the noodle. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Or in somebody's concentration camp, getting the hell beat out of him. Okay, so you have to have that mindset. You have to have a mind to, to, to really be ready to accept the fact that your mother and your father and your mother may die. Your kids may be destroyed. Okay, a lot of our kids, brothers, it's not going to make it, man. A lot of our kids that's up in age, they're demons, okay? And the Lord, he can't stand these little bastards. They're disrespectful. They're, um, they're disloyal. They talk back. Their minds are totally destroyed. They're lazy. Cause like I was watching a, a, a video of this little, this little fat-ass Jake. He couldn't be no more than eight years old. Pulled a knife would have could have been on his brother, his cousin or something. All because the, the, the Jake didn't give the fat little nigga no pizza, man. Okay, the nigga, literally the eight-year-old boy built like a fucking mason jar, bro. Fat as hell with titties, love handles. I'm like, wait a minute, when I was eight years old, I had a fucking six-pack. And I mean, I know you had little fat kids and stuff like that, but in my day, it wasn't really so. Everybody was in some form of shape because the only thing we did was go outside. Like We couldn't wait to get outside to flip off pissy mats or jumping out of trees and kicking each other in the face. And we couldn't wait to do that crazy shit. I mean, literally, like, I spent 90% of my childhood literally in some form of activity, whether it was running around outside. We was very active. Had a lot of energy. And then these J-Kids today, they, they ready to kill you over some goddamn pizza, man. You know? So, I don't know, bro, but it, it needs to go down. It says, the beginning of sorrows and great mornings and the beginning of famine and great death. The beginning of wars, okay, the civil wars, okay, the proxy wars, the world wars, which is the biggest one, okay, Putin, military jets, uh, China doing drills, okay, North Korea, okay, uh, uh, America getting ready to pull their uh, army out of Taiwan based on the threats China is giving them, okay, they're testing new uh, rockets, the Ukrainians, it's, it's crazy, man. All this is happening at one time because when it all hits, it's all going to hit home. You see? And it says, And the power shall stand in fear in the beginning of evils, but what should I do when these evils come? But behold, famine and plague and tribulation and anguish are sent as scourges for amendments. Okay? But for all these things, they should not turn away their wickedness, nor be always mindful of the scourges. Right? Because like I said, man, when these cities go dark for weeks at a time and you realize that your, school, your, your food source is, is scarce, your plant base is, is, is pretty much depleted, your source of protein, your water. The water is going to be a big thing when people don't have access to just clean drinking water. There's going to be a shit show out here because what happens is in these cities, everything is run off electricity. So when these cities go down, you got what they call uh, grit channels. Okay, you got a place where the city or the municipalities, they use the waste and the dump and they pump it through like this big hydro collider and they filter this water and they recycle it back into the rivers and the ponds and <laughs> through your faucets. <laughs> what happens when your, your, your municipalities and your water departments are shut down? Those pumps and those generators, they're going to bag up and they're going to stop working. So all the shit that you flush is going to come right back into your homes. All that shit water that's down in these, in these landfills and these pump stations. And I know it. I've seen it with my own two eyes. I've, I've, I've actually done some work over there. I've seen it. That's why them guys get paid a lot of money to do that shit because it's a very hazardous job. And I've seen it with my own two eyes how nasty it can be. So when these cities go dark for months at a time, you better believe that you ain't going to have a, uh, you're not going to have a, a, a soluble flushing supply of water. You're not going to be able to turn on a faucet. And when you flush the toilet, you may get a couple of flushes out of it, but all that shit is going to back right back up into your crib, which is going to lead into pestilence, okay, which is diseases. 
sicknesses, illnesses, and just alone the people dying from body rot and all the diseases from the food they put in them. That's going to be like hell. You're going to literally smell the death in the air here. Okay, it's going to be unbearable. The Lord said that the stink is going to be unbearable, man. These are the times we coming into, man. Okay, so it's going to be pretty bad out here. And it says here, uh, and the dead should be cast out as dung and there should be no man to comfort them. It says, for the earth should be wasted and the city should be casted down. And when these cities go dark and these cities start to lay off the city workers and all this other shit, hey, don't say you weren't warned, man. Okay? I want to see you get on TikTok that day and, and, and do some fancy dance. All right? Because the Lord is really sick of madness, the folly. And I know because we're sick of it. So those of you out there that have an inkling in here, look, man, if you ain't doing the work and you watching videos and you capable... Hey, man, you're going to get fucking blocked, man. Okay, if you are able-bodied to do the work, to go out there and teach, man. Okay, those of you brothers out here that's in Kansas City that watch our videos and our shows that have not came up to the camp or went out there and set up your own camp, you better stop fucking playing games, man. Okay, you better come out to the camp and get built up. Okay, or if you know about this truth and you don't want to be, let's say, part of a camp or whatever, but you know the doctrine is correct and you give double honors, Go out there and teach the word, man. Okay? Go out there and do the work. Ain't no way in hell that, you know, the, the camps here. And it just, it's something about the Missouri reason that the fruit is very far in between, man. It's very far in between. It's like, you know, you get brothers and then, you know, they do other things. They fall out or they go back or they move, you know, and then the camp get smaller. Then it grows again. Then it get, you know. It's just a constant up and down cycle. But I've noticed even with the brothers and Jeff, there's only two brothers out there for the longest. And that may just be their portion. You know, but Kansas City is a big city and we got brothers out here teaching. OK, I want to say in total, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, maybe eight brothers. OK, but for a city that have this particular dynamic and this particular size, there should be more brothers. Honestly, we should have at least 10, 15 brothers in our camp. And I'm not saying it like that's supposed to be. But just from a, 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 a common standpoint, you would think that the camps will be a lot bigger than what they have been. But we know that the Lord does all things in time. You know, like I was telling the young bro in the camp, he was like, man, we hella edifying. Why you think we ain't got no more fruit? And I say, well, you know, brother, this is just a dry land. You know, these people are not going to get it into, you know, until the Lord really brings the hell on them. People watches us. They fuck with our camps, but they're on the fence about what they want to do. You see? But you have Israelites out here. And then again, you know, self-growth. In order for us to deal with, with bigger numbers, we have to grow ourselves, man, to be able to deal with that kind of weight. But then again, this may just be our measure. You see, certain brothers only, shit, certain brothers, it's only in big cities, you may have only one or two brothers. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, the Lord, he's going to do what he's going to do. He's going to do what he do to grow the camp, you know. How he's going to do it, we just going to watch it back and see. But it will grow. I do know that. You know, but me personally, I'm I'm cool with just having, you know, just me and the brothers around. It's 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 more manageable that way, <laughs> you know. But um it's nonetheless, you know, we 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 were all one collective. But it says, um Behold, it says, For them that dwell upon the earth for perish of famine, and the other that escape the hunger should the sword destroy, and the dead should be cast out as dung, and there should be no man to comfort them. For the earth should be wasted and his city should be casted down and there should be no man left until the earth nor to sow it. So this is what's getting ready to happen. Okay. Zephaniah 3 and I'm going to start at verse 6. It says, I've cut off the nations and their towers are desolate. I've made their streets waste that none pass it by. It says their cities are destroyed so that there is no man, that there is none that have it. Okay. It says, and I said, surely thou will fear me. Thou will receive instruction so that dwelling should not be cut off. However, I punished them but they rose early and corrupted all their doing. So, A, the scriptures say in 2nd Edges 8 and 50, many misery should be done unto them that dwell in a lot of times because they walked in great pride, man. Okay? So, um, anyway, I'm going to end it there. I'm going to give all praises and glory and honor that is due to Yahweh. By Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, I'm going to want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Blessings and salutations to the whole elect. Noise in the gospel, by lifting up the standard of Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, wherever it may be. With that, Shalom and a Baba Ball.